Hey guys, El Jami over here. Today I have an exciting video for you which I really wanted to share since I have a new routine for it. And it is all about eyebrows. So for several years now, I have been always doing eyebrows myself. I have been waxing them, shaping them, shaving them, whatever it is that's needed to be done, if you know what I mean. The reason why I wanted to film this video because I have change something in my eyebrow routine and i just wanted to share it with you guys i have been so into foxy look lately you know this whole like snatched look kind of what i have been doing is that i've been shaving the edges of my brows i don't know if you could really see but maybe when i zoom in you'll be able to see but anyhow i wanted to also show you that how i shave them how i shape them after and so on so Without further ado, let's get into it. I use um, this blade over here. I also use this for my derma planning. Now, this is a professional blade because you guys, if you didn't know, I own a beauty company, a beauty services company. So that's why I do have one of these. It's a professional blade. So don't try to get this yourself because you can cut yourself. Um, you can find on Amazon or like on different beauty websites, bunch of like other blades that you can use that is more like home use friendly so do not get this please do get something a bit more home friendly now to start with i always brush my eyebrows up now i have also done brow lamination also myself like about four days ago i think I was gonna film a video on that, but then I was like, I do not want people to do brow lamination at home. I don't think, no. It's better to always go seek a professional for that, but I do have a training on brow lamination, again, thanks to my company. Um, so I do know how to do it myself. So I've done that. That's why my eyebrows are pretty bushy and like any direction I'll put them, they would literally stay there. Like if I want them to be like this, that's how they're gonna be. But of course, that's not the look that I wanna go for, unless you wanna go for it. I sh like kind of brush them and then I just see where the curve kind of starts and that's where I shave them because I want to create a curve myself because once I shave it off then I shape my curve a bit straighter and that's what gives me a more kind of like buttocks fresh look so right now this there's like just very little bit that I want to like um, shave and just like get rid of but the rest seems fine so i'm just removing very little bit nothing too drastic and i'm gonna do the same thing on the other side as well and this is why i say that eyebrows are such a big part of like the whole look of how our face can look because honestly speaking after i started doing this my whole face changed it looked way more lifted my eyes look kind of more like i slept for 12 hours and that's why i've been really really liking this trick and i think i'm gonna stick to this for a while because even when i remove my makeup i don't look weird because i don't shave that much there are some people that like literally shave more than half of their eyebrow i'm not about that life so i want to look kind of natural when i don't have makeup on so that's why i don't do that and that's why i only shave like the edge because usually naturally my eyebrow ends like right around here anyways right after i'm done shaving i'm gonna move into start shaping my eyebrows today i'm using a product from benefit this is brow styler it comes as double side there is like a pencil like this and then from the other side it's like kind of like a shadow thingy i don't use this side much i mostly stick to the pencil only now my shade is does it say what shade it is oh it's shade four uh, now the trick um to not break these pencils is that you only get like right around this much so don't try to pull out too much because then if you just press a little bit more hard by mistake then you'll break it so i use very little bit and then i'm gonna start shaping the edges first 
and what i'm gonna do usually as i was saying like if i'm following my natural line i would go a bit more lower but now i'm going a bit more straight then i'm gonna start fill filling in or like the parts where it's more bold and i try to not put too much product like in these areas around here because as you can see i have already a lot of hair there so if i would apply product it would look darker than the rest so that's where i kind of skip most of my pro uh, like product applying any product on it i mostly just stick to the edges and to the beginning of my brow what i constantly do is that i always brush the brows while i'm filling them in just to see that you know everything is looking good it's all there's no like sharp edges or whatever because we don't want that told you i'm gonna skip i'm gonna skip this part so all what i want to do is just to fill it a bit more right here so i draw first i draw like a little line right here and then i place my pencil like this and i just draw a few strokes just to give it like a more natural look and kind of like an ombre look as well and then i also brush it out this is why i call it an ombre look because as you can see like here it's way lighter than the rest of my eyebrow and that's exactly how i like it and i find this way more natural please don't pay attention to my skin right now it's like on fire because i did a laser facial and so it's very like my therapist informed me that i might get more breakouts because like all the dirt is coming to the outer layer of my skin so I'm just letting you know usually that's not how my skin looks but right now it's kind of messy maybe already see the difference so this side is like not filled or anything and then right over here it's filled and it's kind of shaped more properly and you can see how like here already this area looks like more lifted than here like see even if i look straight just here it's so snatched i just love this trick i to always get like a shade lighter um for your brow pencil than your hair just to give it like a really natural look so since i already have eyeshadow i'm not gonna like really clean it up much from down but usually i do my eyebrows before i do my eye makeup so i would go with a concealer and just like shape it but we're not gonna do it now the next product i'm gonna go in with is bobby brown um natural brow shaper so it's like um, a little brush like that and it has a tint in it this is like brunette yeah in shade brunette i'm just gonna run that gel all across my eyebrow hair i don't really need it now because i did brow lamination because this gel mostly helps your hair to kind of like stick in place and again i'm avoiding this area where i have a lot of hair just so again it doesn't look darker than the rest of the hair and i was really really light-handed right in the beginning of the eyebrow so let me get up close and show you guys this is how it ends up looking so this is like my filled in eyebrow and this is not filled usually even take it higher sometimes so but like if you put it like in a ponytail that's how it'll look that's why i love this i'm just repeating the same process and exactly the same thing that i have done on this side and i kind of always like go like this just to make sure that from down they start like on the same level that's like another trick last step to my eyebrow routine will be applying a highlighter so i'm using anastasia beverly hills amrezi highlighter it's like one of my favorites and i literally just take it with like a very small brush like that oh it's not zooming in but anyways it's like super flat and small and there my brow bone in the middle mostly and i also take it to the edge a little bit just like that so it kind of gives me like a very clean 
shaped look especially now that I haven't used concealer so I hope you guys enjoyed the small tutorial of how I shape my brows and how I style them and this whole like shaving thing really changed my eyebrow game and I'm really really happy about it and I'm probably gonna stick to it as I said and if you guys want you can try it as well just make sure that you get the good blade and get like as I said home safe blade not like the professional one I leave it to the professionals and to people that know how to do it and did the training if you enjoyed this video make sure you put thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you soon